Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Azure Storage Explorer on a Windows machine. I will also show you how you can manage blobs and file shares using Azure Storage Explorer. So what are the topics covered? I will show you how to install Azure Storage Explorer on a Windows machine to connect to a storage account. I will then show you how you can manage the objects in blobs and file shares using Storage Explorer. So you can access files in a blob container, create a blob container, and move the files between the blob containers or delete or upload files into a blob container. Likewise, you can create an Azure file share, upload files into an Azure file share, mount Azure file share as a network drive on a Windows machine to view, edit, and delete files in an Azure file share. For the first demo, I will install Azure Storage Explorer on a Windows machine. So I've logged into my Azure portal and let me go into virtual machines. And I have a VM in my Azure subscription. It is called Storage Lab VM. This demo VM is running Windows Server 2019 Data Center Edition. By the way, you can install the Azure Storage Explorer not only on virtual machines running in Azure, but also any VM or physical server running in your on-premises data center. You can also install the Azure Storage Explorer on your local laptop as well. I will click on Connect and I'll click on Bastion. And under Bastion, I will click on Use Bastion. I will type in the username and password for the VM in the Bastion window. And I'll click on Connect. So it's going to open up a new tab. And I'll click on Allow to use the clipboard. Now, after logging into the VM, I will open up Internet Explorer and copy paste the URL to download the Azure Storage Explorer setup file. Now, you can download the Azure Storage Explorer for different types of operating systems. Since I'm going to install the Azure Storage Explorer on a Windows machine, I will keep Windows selected for the operating system and I'll click on Download Now. Instead of saving the file, I'll click on Run. I would like to install the Azure Storage Explorer for all users, so I will click on Install for all users. In the License Agreement screen, I will select I accept the agreement and click on Install. I will keep the default destination folder for the installation of Azure Storage Explorer and click on Next. I will also keep the default Start Menu folder for Azure Storage Explorer and click on Next. Now the installation will begin and it will complete in few minutes. Okay, the installation has completed and I will keep the Launch Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer option checked and I'll click on Finish. Now the Azure Storage Explorer window will open up automatically. It will also prompt you to connect to Azure Storage. So for the question, what kind of Azure resource do you want to connect to? I will select subscription. For the next question, which Azure environment will you use to sign in? As my storage account is in public Azure environment, I will select the first option Azure, but you also have an option to connect to other types of Azure environments such as Azure China, Azure Germany, Azure US government, and custom environment which can be an Azure stack running in an on-premises environment. I will click on Next. Now in the Sign in account window, I will type in the username and I will click Next. I will type the password and click Sign In. Okay, I'm signed in. In the left side, it shows your selected subscription name. I will click on Apply to view my resources. All right, again on the left side, you can see few different options, Quick Access, Local and Attached, and the Azure subscription to which I'm connected. Quick Access will show you the recently accessed storage accounts. Local and Attached will show you any locally attached storage accounts, 
Cosmo DB accounts and Data Lake Storage Gen 1 accounts. We are interested into the Azure subscription that we have connected. Under this subscription, I have a single storage account, Wired Storage 29795. When I expand Wired Storage 29795, you can see other storage types such as blob containers, file shares, queues, and tables. Okay, this is how you install Azure Storage Explorer on a Windows machine. In the second demo, I will show you how to manage blobs using Azure Storage Explorer. I will show you how to access the files in a blob container and how to create a container along with moving files between containers, deleting files, and uploading files to a blob container. So back in the Storage Explorer on the left side, I will expand Wired Storage Account and expand Blob Containers and click on Images Containers. Now you can see some files. I have PDF file and some image files. I will right click on coffee-1.png and I'll click on copy URL. To view this image, I will open up a new tab on my browser. I'll paste the URL and press enter and it will display a graphic of a coffee mug. Now if I want to download a file, I'll simply right click on one of the file. Let me select business-plan.pdf. I'll right click on it and I'll click on download. To save the file on the desktop, I will select desktop and click on select folder. And under the activities tab, you can see the transfer activity which kicks in and shows a green check mark when it is completed, which means the file has been downloaded to the desktop. Going to my desktop, I can see the file which I have downloaded. Now let me show you how to create a blob container and move files between containers. Now back in the Storage Explorer, I will right click on blob containers under wired storage account and click on create blob container. I will type the container name as internal files and press enter to create a new blob container. By the way, the container name should only have lowercase letters, numbers, and hyphens. Now I'll click on images containers again and click on business-plan.pdf and I'll click on copy button which is on the top. I'll go back to internal files container and click on paste button on the top. You can see the transfer activity starts and completes. Next, let me delete this same business-plan.pdf file from the images container. So I'll go back to images container and I'll click on business-plan.pdf and then I will click on delete button in the toolbar. I'll click yes on this dialog box. All right. The deletion activity has a green check mark showing that the file has been deleted. And if you want to upload files to image containers, I will click on upload button on the top and I'll click on upload files. Under selected files, I'll click on the three dot button. I will navigate to C drive to manage blob and I'll select the readme text file and I'll click open and I'll click on upload. Okay, so this is how you upload the files into a blob container. In the third demo, I will show you how to manage files using Azure Storage Explorer. So I will show you how to create Azure file shares, upload files to an Azure file share, mount an Azure file share as a network drive on a Windows machine. I will also show you how to view and edit the files on an Azure file share from Windows machine as if those files were locally available. Finally, I will show you how to delete a file from Azure file share. Okay, back in the Storage Explorer on the left side, I will right click on file shares under wire storage account and I'll click on create file share to create a new file share container. I will type the name of the new file share container as wired brain hyphen files and press enter. In this file share container, I will click on upload on the top and click upload files. 
I'll click on the three dots and I'll navigate to C drive storage lab number three files. I will select coffee's text file and I'll click on open. I will then click on upload and the coffees.txt file will be uploaded to the file share. There we go. Next, I will show you how to mount this Azure file share as a network drive on a Windows VM using Azure Storage Explorer. While I am in Wired Brain Files file share container, I will click on the Connect VM button on the top. In the Connect File Share to VM window that appears, I will copy all the text shown in the text box except the storage account key. All right, I will copy this. This text is basically a net use command along with the path and storage account key to connect. So I will open up command prompt on my Windows VM where I'm running Storage Explorer and I will paste the contents of the clipboard in the command prompt. Now here, I need to replace the placeholder for the drive letter. So this will be Z drive in my case. And for the username, I need to add the prefix Azure, which is the domain. I will press enter. Now it is prompting me to type the password. So I will go back to the storage explorer again. And now this time I'm going to copy the storage account key, which will be the password to connect to this file share. So I'll go back to the command prompt and paste it inside the command prompt and press enter. Okay, the command completed successfully. Now I will open up Windows Explorer and click on this PC. And if I scroll down, I should be seeing my network drive, which is the Z drive. And if I open it, I should be seeing the coffees.txt file which I can see. Now you can double click the file to view and edit the file as if this file is located locally on your machine. And I can save it as well. And to delete the file, I'll simply right click on the file and hit delete and click yes. And if I switch back to Storage Explorer and do a refresh under more, the coffees.txt file no longer appears. Okay, so this is how you use Azure Storage Explorer to manage your blobs and file shares on Azure. I hope you like this video. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.